what God is doing in this hour, see, what God is doing in this hour, he's bringing you back to the purpose that he created from the very beginning. Oh, my God. You just, you just, you just, you just don't know what this does for me. You, to see this happening for you, this is why Satan had to come against me so hard. Because it's really about you. Don't you understand what Jesus did to atone for us? He was wounded for our transgression. Bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his strife, we are, oh, come on, thank him. Oh, my God. He atoned for it. He made up for it. He stepped in right on time. He carried it. He helped you. Come on, saints, in the name of Jesus. Woo! Woo! You better receive it all. You better receive it all. Because some of us have lost that way. That devil hit you so hard till you drunk. So you got to go try to find some relief. <laughs> you understand? I'm trying to tell you. That joke will hit you. Life is something, ain't it? Amen. I'm telling you, to it will knock you drunk. You, you, you were standing firm. Oh, Peter was standing firm, wasn't he? He was standing firm in everything. And even said, even said, even said, even said, now, Jesus, everybody else can deny you, but not me. Now, he didn't. Follow the instruction. Jesus said this night because it's part of the plan of God. See, this is what we're going to get to next week about being humble. See, we're going to get to it next week. This is how the plan of God works. When Jesus tells you something and you don't even agree with it, you just got to pay attention. Just hold on to that. You understand? Come on now. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because remember, we tr even in our goodness, the Bible says our way is not his way. Are y'all with me? See, now, so if God tells you something, he's going to do something. I mean, I ain't seen, it ain't heard, you never imagined in your heart. Are y'all with me? Amen. So he told them, he said, now this night, this night, the enemy is going to strike the head and the sheep are going to scatter. But he said, but don't worry. Even in this scattering, just meet me in Galilee. I'll see you there. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? So, so not only is he prophesying the scattered, but he also prophesied, but I'm going to bring you back together again. Come on, are y'all with me? Are y'all with me? I'm going to bring you back together again, but it ain't going to be the same. Amen? And so, so we understand this story here. We understand this story, uh, praise the Lord, because God, what he's doing, he's reconciling us to the prophetic word that he has over our life. Fear not, Peter, you're going to catch men from now on. Peter, you're the one that I'm going to build this church on, and the gates of hell are not going to prevail. But just like Peter, oh, my God, we didn't get it fully what the Lord says, and then we kind of mess up. Amen? Call your name. Say I messed up. Hey, boy, let me tell you something. As soon as you can say that, you're on your way out for the rest of the time. Are y'all with me? Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, God is trying to say, I just need you to own this so I can take it, so you can give it to me. So now here's what happens. Peter, what did he do? He messed up. Y'all hear that? He messed up. Now, so, so Peter done denied it and cussed Lord Jesus. You, ain't there something Peter... He wanted in a circle. He would cut you and cut you. I mean, cut you and still cut. I mean, the Lord working with us, eh? <laughs> Peter cuss and cut you. You better be. <laughs> and he gonna build a church on that, Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. Now watch. Now watch. Now watch this. Now watch this because this is what happens to us. I want y'all to see this because I want you to know God's not through with you yet. Go with me to Matthew the twenty sixth chapter in verse seven. The five. Look at this. Look at this. Because it's going to help a whole lot of people here today. Matthew 26 and verse 75. 75. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to read it all upstairs. Go ahead and go to verse 75. Now, after this, what happened? The cop, Peter, look at this. 
Peter remembered the words of Jesus, which he said, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me. How many times? Three times the Bible says he went out and what? Wept bitterly. Now, guess what he said? It's over. Let me go on back. Catching fish. Let me go on. Yeah, that's done. That's part of my life. I'm done with it. Now, when God speaks that word, now he's got to, it's the Lord that's now got to work to align us or reconcile us. Are y'all with me? Why? Because we have messed up so bad. Let me tell you who the folk who are most likely are, are the hardest to receive the grace of God, the folk who give the grace of God. Did you know that? The folk hardest to receive the grace of God is the folk that give the grace of God. Well, now, wasn't you preaching that God will forgive you? Wasn't you telling folk that the Lord will help you, that the Lord will bless you, the Lord will turn around? Now it's your turn. Ooh, who am I talking to in this church? Oh, you ought to just wave your hand. Oh, my God. You said, what is my turn? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everything you knew to do, you didn't do. And that devil is on you with both feet. Pounding you in your head, you the biggest fool. And you supposed to be. And you knew what? Both feet. But that little bit of, that little fight is in there. <laughs> Guess what the Holy Ghost is doing? That little fire, you got enough fire that when they said Jesus has rose, let's run down there and see. Did he? Did he for real? Now watch what happened when they see it. Come on with me. I got to take my tag. I want my teenagers to get it. I want you to see what God does. I want you to see what God does. Uh, Matthew, uh, Mark, Mark 16, 6 and 7. Mark 16, 6 and 7. So now he's risen. They go in and they see the man in white clothes. Uh, 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 what do you get? Seven. Verse 7, 16, 6, 16, 6, uh, Mark uh, 16, 6, praise the Lord. All right? He said unto them, be not affrighted. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, which is crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold, in other words, look at the place where he lays. Look at the instruction. But go your way. Tell his disciples and... Oh, Lord Jesus, tell his disciples that. Oh, Lord Jesus, tell his disciples that. Peter, go up before you into Galilee. He'll see you there. Come on, thank the Lord. <laughs> what is he doing? He's reconciling. Peter done made this mess, but Peter, I already spoke the word over your life. I already, Jesus already spoken it. Now, watch this. Now, what does he do? Now, I'm not going to read it all for time's sake, but I want you to go to, I want you to go to Matthew, I'm sorry, uh, 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 John. John 21. It's very familiar. John 21, uh, 15. John 21, 15. Watch what he says. Watch what he says. Watch what he says. John 15. Go ahead and turn there if you don't mind. So, when they had died, Jesus said to Simon Peter, <laughs> He said, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me more than these? Lord, you know I love you. That's why he's so hurt. You see why he's so hurt? That's why he's so hurt. You know I love you. You know I love you. He said, feed my lambs. Come on to the next one, 16. Praise the Lord, 16. He said to him again, what? Lord Jesus, ain't God up to something. <laughs> he said unto him the second time, Simon, son of Jonah's. Love it, thou me. He said unto him, Hey, Lord, you know I love you. He said unto him, Do what? Feed my sheep. See, he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. Now, now Peter, be careful now. Don't get to cussing this next time. <laughs> ah, come on. Come on. Go to the next one. 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 Verse 17. Look what he said. And he said unto him, What? A third time, 
Simon, son of Jodah, lovest thou me? Now Peter is grieved. Don't start cussing, Peter. <laughs> Peter was grieved because he said unto him, what? A third time. Lovest thou me? And he said, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, what? Feed my sheep. Now, why did Jesus have to ask him three times? Because he denied him three times. And he'd given him a time to own it all. And at every point, God said, I'm not through with you. When he asked him the first time, he said, Fee, I'm not done with you, honey. Y'all ought to thank the Lord in this out today. You thought it was over, and God says it's about to begin again. Y'all ought to thank God in this house. Oh, glory to God. Some of y'all thought y'all would never go to nobody's church again. Who am I talking to? Stand on your feet and give God a praise at this house. Oh, you've been so broken and disappointed till you done forgot all about what God called you to do. But in this hour, God is calling you back to your purpose. Give God a praise at this house. God is calling you back to your purpose in the kingdom of God.